Hello and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Shotzi and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Shotzi's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give the dogs while working with them, and also the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. And the correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Fred keeps her collar high up on her neck there, right behind her ears for the most control while working with her. And we will show you how to properly put her collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Well, Shotzi is sitting very nicely on Fred's left-hand side, and that's where all of your obedience training is going to take place. The first command that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing, and healing is proper walking on a leash. The command that you're going to give is Shotzi heal, and you're going to simply start walking. And you'll notice that Shotzi has been trained to walk very nicely on your left-hand side at your pace, so she should not be lagging behind on that leash, nor lunging ahead and pulling. If she was to do so, you would tell her no, followed by a tug and release on that training collar, and you repeat the command to heal. We've also gone ahead and incorporated an automatic sit into the healing exercise, so anytime that you're out and about walking with Shotzi and you stop, she's been trained to sit nicely right there at your left heel position. And you'll see those automatic sits throughout the video here. Good girl. Now the next command they're going to demonstrate is the stay command. It's a hand and voice command. Use the open flat of your left palm in front of her muzzle on the one word command to stay. When practicing your long sit stays at home, you're going to start with short time increments of 30 seconds to a minute. And upon her success, you'll increase your intervals working up to a total of three minutes for your sit stay. And she should remain seated throughout the entire command. And Fred's gonna go ahead and return back to heel position walking all the way around. And like I said, she should remain seated. Fabulous job. Very well done, Miss Shotzi. And they're going to go ahead and demonstrate their heel sit and stay for you again. You'll notice throughout the video that Fred uses lots of positive reinforcement, whether it's verbal praise telling her good girl, great job, or physical praise by giving her a little pet on the head. Either one, it's important to make sure that you're keeping it motivating and fun for her to work through her obedience commands and letting her know that she's doing a great job completing them when she does. Now he'll let her hold her sit stay for a moment and then they're going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. The command that you use for this is Shotzi come. Shotzi, come. She should get up and come in and sit directly in front of your knees. Great job. A little praise. And then she returns to heel position by healing her on the right side, your back, returning to your left hand side, sitting nicely, waiting for her next command and they'll demonstrate that again for you. Great job, Miss Shotzi. Now when Shotzi comes home, you want to make sure that you're practicing your commands with her at first in a nice, quiet, distraction-free area. So that way you're focusing one-on-one -on -one with each other. And you want to make sure that you're practicing both indoors and outdoors to generalize in both environments. And over time, you can start to increase the amount of distractions into your training sessions. Now they're going to demonstrate the first of our down commands. This one's the down from a heel position. Again, use the open flat of your left palm, this time straight down towards the ground and the one more command to down. Don't forgive that, give that stay command before you walk out to the end of the leash. And again, with the down stay, she should remain laying down throughout the entire command. And you also want to practice this one starting with short time increments. And upon her success, increase your intervals, working up to a total of five minutes for your down stay. Fred returns back again the same way, all the way around. She remains laying down. Such a smart little girl. Good job. We'll demonstrate that again. This is also a good time to remind you that although you're going to be incorporating all of your commands into your everyday life, 
You want to make sure that you're setting aside about 10 to 15 minutes every day to work Shasti through her commands in a formal obedience training session such as this video. You can even throw it on and follow along if you like. But it's great practice for the both of you and will help with transitioning with the commands and her new rules back into the home. We'll demonstrate that down for you again. Fred gives her a moment to hold it and then this time we'll demonstrate the recall or the come command for you from the down position. Very nicely done. And now they're about to heel into position for our last command that we're going to demonstrate for you. And this is a second of our down commands and this one is the down from the distance. And this command you leave her in a sit stay out to the end of the leash. And from the end of the leash you're going to use your right hand to drop Shotzi into a down. And she should go into a down directly where she's sitting, just like she did. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Shotzi has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Shotzi. We ask that you keep us posted on her progress when she returns home. And we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.